Jeanette Bailey here at EasyBusinessTapping.com and today we're going to do a couple shortcut rounds of tapping for stress. Now, I know a lot of you are under stress, financial stress, uh, maybe stress with your health, relationship stress, any stress you have. Um, we're going to do some tapping to get uh, that under control. So first thing I want you to do is just tune in and ask yourself uh, you know, what's my most pressing issue? Or, you know, what am I stressed about today? And you can replay this over and over. So you can just pick one and then go back and, you know, tap on some other issues. For physical things, just do a quick little body scan. You know, tune into your body and kind of go up and down the body to see where you have any aches and pains. Uh, stiffness, soreness, twinges, anything like that. And you can tap on pain or physical stress in the body because tapping relaxes the body and the body needs to feel safe in order to act out all the various things we need to act out uh, during the day. The body holds in and acts out pretty much everything that's going on. Or you might have stress in the mind or emotions about, you know, any number of things. So let's get to it. So jot down what you're stressed about or what your physical stress or pain is, and then give it a number from 1 to 10 of how bad the stress is, how distressful that is. So write your number down, and now we're going to go into the tapping. Now on the shortcut, you start with the karate chop, tapping on the karate chop, I want you to say, even though I have all this stress, I deeply and completely accept myself. And do it one more time on the karate chop, even though I have all this stress, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now on the shortcut round, we just do two times there, and we go straight to the eyebrow point, tapping there, all this stress. Now tap on the side of the eye, all this stress. Under the eye, all this stress. Under the nose, all this stress. Right in the crevice of the chin, all this stress. Collarbone, on either side, all this stress. Tapping there where you would adjust your tie. Then under the arm, along the bra strap for the ladies, about four inches down, from the underarm or the armpit, tapping there, all the stress. And then on the top of the head, tap a few tapping and then sort of up and out, all the stress. Now I want you to take a nice deep breath, take a glass of water, or oh, sorry, a sip of water if you have water. Uh, water helps move energy, so do your tapping and drink lots of extra water and also movement. So even walking or any kind of movement, shaking around or um, uh, repetitious movement like walking. Let your arms swing as you, as you walk. Now I want you to go back to that original stress that you wrote down and look at that and think, you know, what's the number now? It may not have moved much at all because we just did a short cut, you know, just a short quick little round there. We're going to do another little round on that same stress, but I want you to write down what the number is now. Okay, let's get started. On the karate chop, even though I still have some of the stress, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I still have some of the stress, I deeply and completely accept myself. And on the eyebrow, the remaining stress side of the eye, this remaining stress, under the eye, this remaining stress, under the nose, this remaining stress, chin, this remaining stress, collarbone, this remaining stress, under the arm, this remaining stress, and off the top of the head, this remaining stress. Take a deep breath, drink a little sip of water if you have it, now go back to that original statement, and you're, you should have two numbers there, and I want you to write your third number now. How bad is this str still stressing you out, if at all? Or how distre distressful is it to you when you think about it? Now, it should have gone down a little, and if it doesn't go down, 
or if it even goes up and you have other stressors or issues popping up, you need to go ahead and do a full round of tapping. And both full round and short round are on my uh, website, free download there, but this is just a quickie. So write your number down what it is now, and then we're going to do our last quick round. So on the karate chop point, I'm releasing the stress now. On the karate chop point, I'm releasing all the stress now. The eyebrow, I'm releasing this now. Side of eye, I'm releasing this now. Under the eye, I'm releasing this now. I'm letting it go. Under the nose, I'm releasing this now. Chin, I'm releasing all this stress now. Collarbone, I'm releasing and letting it go. Under the arm, I'm releasing this now. And top of head, I'm releasing and letting go all the stress now. Take a nice deep breath. Take a sip of water. Shake it off. And tune back into that original stress. See how your number is. And now what I want you to do is think, what would you rather have instead? What is your new choice? What would you prefer? So instead of having that stress, you could come up with something um, positive that, you know, I now deal with things one at a time. Um, you know, I easily let stressors go and move forward. Something like that. Just pick a positive statement. You could do a quick little shortcut on that, tapping that in if you want, or just leave it be with the, the releasing that we just did. So there's your quick little shortcut round of tapping on stress for anything you're stressed about. Just replay this anytime you need to. Send me questions, uh, comments. I'd be happy to talk with you about it in uh, email at business tapping at gmail.com where you can email me direct or just visit me at easybusinesstapping.com. This is Jeanette Bailey signing out. Have a great day.